Hello and welcome to this second video on profit loss and discount. In this video, I'll specifically deal with the problems of faulty weights or dishonest shopkeepers, which you'll frequently see in many aptitude exams. We'll also discuss uh, and take a question on overall profit or gain percentage on the entire transaction when there are two, three things happening. So let's get started. First, I would like you to focus on the concept that really uh, revolves around this faulty weight problem. So I, for example, if I'm a shopkeeper and let's say somebody comes and buys, let's say pulses, right? And let's say somebody wants one kg of pulses. And what I have is that the weight is faulty. And what I end up giving is I end up giving 900 grams. Now, in this case, what will happen obviously is that I will make additional profit. So that's your faulty weight concept. The dishonest shopkeeper concept is, so this is unintentional, right? The dishonest uh, shopkeeper one is the problem where the shopkeeper is dishonest and he uh, actually gives you or the machine is in such a way that it doesn't give you the right measure. So for example, if I profess to sell that, okay, I sell uh, you at cost price. So let's say my cost price is 1000 grams and I actually sell you 800 grams worth of uh, the uh, material right so what will happen is obviously I am gaining this extra 200 grams on each of this transaction right so so these are this is really uh, the concept of faulty weights of shopkeeper now how do we apply this in problems so what will happen is Remember our important concept of SP upon CP, which we have used in our previous video also, and we will use this in all profit loss questions. That means, remember this ratio, right? SP upon CP, this is a very important ratio. Now, let's take the example where the machine is not working properly and it uh, gives 750 grams, actually quantity, but it shows that this is 1000 grams, right? So what will happen is, imagine the case where one gram of the quantity is for one rupee right so what will happen is that the cost price that means how much did i get that thing for let's say the cost is actually 750 grams because i'm selling 750 grams but what is happening is this is my cost but what is happening is i am giving the person and charging him for thousand grams right so ultimately this is the ratio of sp to cp that means what will be my ratio in this case Obviously, this is 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 meaning what your profit is SP is greater than CP. So that means 1 by 3 or 33.33 percentage is the profit that you incur. Now, this is the simple concept. Sometimes what they may do is they in order to complicate the problem, they may also include other things like uh, markup, right? They may also uh, include concepts like discount so ultimately it could be a mix of faulty weights plus marking up and discounting and they will say okay what is the final total effect right so what will be the total effect on the uh, on that particular situation so what will happen is let's say they say there's something marked up by 10 percent and there is also a discount of let's say 10 percent on the transaction but there is a faulty weight and the faulty weight basically shows uh, for 800 grams it shows let's say 1000 grams so ultimately what will be the effect that will come we will write always in sp upon cp format right always remember so the effect would be what marking a price so let's say 10 percent so obviously this we know that means how we will write it as 11 by 10 right cp 10 percent markup on that into the discount discount is also let's say 10 percent so that means discount again your let's say 9 by 10 right and what he is saying is that means something that is worth value of 10 rupees but you're giving 10 percent discount which is 9 and your faulty weight problem meaning what meaning you are charging the person for 1000 right which is your sp and your cost price is actually only 800 so you can actually write it 10 by 8 but anyways in this case i've written this so now what will happen now let's say these two zero gone right and uh, this zero goes here so it will eventually be 11 into 9 99 upon 10 into 8 80 right that means 
this would actually be your profit you can make this 100 also right how can you make that as you can multiply 5 by 4 5 by 4 or basically you can calculate that your 1 your 19 upon 80 is your actually profit percentage right this is how you can calculate so this is the cumulative effect sometimes there could be only two things let's say faulty balance plus discount or faulty balance plus markup now let's attempt a few questions to take this ahead okay a shopkeeper professes to sell his goods at cost price but uses a weight of 900 grams for 1 kg so let's say it says 1 kg but it's actually 900 grams right the weight that he is using so now what will happen is that let's assume 1 gram is for 1 rupee okay so in this case we will write in the SP by CP format so what will happen is that my cost price would be because I'm giving him 900 grams and I'm saying I'm selling you at cost price so my cost price is again 900 and I'm selling you at what I am giving you 1 kg because I and so I'll say this is 1 kg and char I'll charge you for 1 kg that means 1000 grams so ultimately what will happen this is 10 by 9 if SP by CP is 10 by 9 that means obviously your profit is 1 by 9 right and 1 by 9 we know in percentage terms is nothing but 11.11 okay so let's look at another problem a trader marks up his goods okay now he's marking up his goods and he's also using a faulty balance and how much is the faulty balance 800 grams instead of a kg if his total profit is 50 percent what is his markup percentage okay now we already learned that what you do here is that you will say here your markup right into what into your faulty balance effect right and this will be the total effect right and total effect is how much 50 percent right total profit correct so what will happen in this case the markup is let's say markup is x into faulty balance is how much 800 grams instead of a kg now please understand this we will write it in sp by cp form that means what that means i am giving you worth 1 kg which is 1000 grams and i'm charging my cost price is how much only 800 right that means 800 worth i'm giving you uh, you know at thousand rupees now this equals to total profit of 50 percent again 50 percent we know how we can write it as we can write it as 3 by 2 right so let's write it as 3 by 2 now these two zero gone here or your x becomes how much your 3 into 8 24 upon 20 right apply 24 by 20 into 5 also so if you multiply this 5 this will 2500 120 upon 100 so now this is easy for you to compare saying that okay there's a 20 percent markup okay next a trader marks up his goods by 20 percent also uses a faulty balance of 400 grams instead of 500 grams if he gives a discount of 40 percent what is his profit or loss percentage that means three things are happening First, he says he marks up his goods by 20%. So, how will I represent 20%? I will say this is 6 by 5. Now, please understand the fractions, right? So, we are using that same thing. Faulty balance of how much? 400 grams instead of 5. That means I can write it as 5 by 4 or basically 500 grams I am giving at the cost of 400 grams, which is nothing but 5 by 4 into a discount of 40%. Discount 40% meaning how can I write this as? I can write this as 6 by 10 so he's saying what is his profit or loss percentage now this is very simple 5 5 cancelled uh, 6 into 6 36 so I can say uh, 36 upon 40 right 4 into 10 or I can say 4 into 9 36 so this is 9 by 10 and this is in which format this is your SP upon CP that means you are incurring what you're incurring a loss and loss of how much 1 by 10 which is 10 percent so what would be answer option d okay now so we are done with faulty weights problem we look at this last problem for today and in this case there are sometimes questions on the entire transaction what happens so let's see what the question says 
some goods are purchased at rupees 450 okay total transaction purchased at 450 okay goods one third is sold at a loss of 10 percent what i'll do is in this case i will assume that let's say 450 and how much quantity you had let's say you had 450 grams right and this is 450 rupees why because i want to simplify my calculation so what he's saying is one third is sold at 10 percent profit okay now one third meaning 150 grams is one side and 300 grams is one side right this is for 150 rupees and this is for 300 rupees right now he's saying this is sold at 10 percent loss that means this 150 grams i would be selling at 10 percent loss meaning i get 135 rupees here at what profit should i sell this for that means what at what profit should i sell this for so that the remainder so as to gain 20 percent on the entire transaction now 20 percent on the entire transaction meaning this is my cost price right so that means 20 percent would be 45 into 290 right that means 450 plus 90 so 540 would be after 20 percent this thing that means my sp should be actually 540 but what is my sp so far 135 plus this so what should be this so that this totals 540 obviously you can subtract 135 from this 540 so this becomes how much this becomes your 405 that means this 300 worth of thing i should sell it for 405 in order to make 20 percent on the entire transaction so that means what will be my uh, what should i charge profit here i am charging 105 on how much on 300 which is nothing but if you do the math this is obviously your 35 percent right that means 30 is 10 percent so 30 percent would be uh, again 90 plus 15 right so this should be your 35 percent so with this question we end uh, the profit loss and discount chapter and i think you should be now feeling very confident uh, of applying this new approach which i have told you sp by cp form and this i promise you if you practice a lot of questions on this you can attempt these questions in 10 to 15 seconds so thanks for watching the video and i look forward to seeing you in future videos